know about money, she don't love money She break hearts real fast like on money Wanna swim down to the deep end Wanna know Hey loves and welcome back to the channel guys. So in this video, we're going to be creating this three-toned goddess bohemian braids. I'm going to be showing you guys a step-by-step -step process on how we achieve this complete look. So if you are interested, sit back, relax, and let's get right into this tutorial. So these are all the tools and products I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So let's get right into this video. So first of all, I'm going to be starting off with a freshly washed hair and this is what it's looking like, right? What I want to do first of all is to stretch this hair out and to blow it out. I'm going to be using my hand dryer for this. All the details for this video and product that I use would be in the description box but also in the video as well so you guys can check it out if you're interested. I'm going ahead to stretch out this hair to release any knots, any tangles just so it's easier for me to braid and faster at the same time and this is what we have. I tried as much as possible not to apply a lot of heat on my hair, right? So moving on, this is a very important tool. It's a life-saving tool if you braid your hair yourself or you weave your hair yourself or you're a DIY queen like me. It is a three-sided um, mirror and this is perfect for, you know, patting the back of your hair and, you know, styling your hair and just doing your hair yourself. And this is what it looks like. Now for my braiding hair, I'm using this pre-stretched braiding hair. And this one is a brown ombre um, color and I love it. It has three colors in it and it came in a pack of eight. Now I only used about five packs but guys I think I would have gone away with just using three to four packs because it is quite full. This is what it's looking like. This is the pattern of the ombre. I love the flow. It was easy to work with and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like later on. Now this is one pack and from one pack you can get at least um maybe about 10 to 12 pieces of braiding hair now this is the crochet hair that i'm going to be using it's a deep twist crochet hair and it's also a cr um, an ombre look right it came in a pack of five and it's in 22 inches this is what it looks like and this is what we're going to be working with for this one we used about three packs and yeah this is what it looks like like again like i said i could have gone away with just using one pack now i'm going to be using this shine and jam magic fingers and this is perfect for making sure that your hair is sleek i'm also going to be using this tail comb and this is me just going ahead to hang and try out this mirror to see how exactly it works and yeah this is how it looks like this is what we are currently working with so i'm going to angle this and start parting my hair i'm going to be dividing my hair into three equal parts two on the front parts on the front sides and then one at the back right so i'm trying to divide my hair to make sure that i have a straight line so that way my braids look professional i guess <laughs> so i'm going ahead to also um, parts the back of my hair like I said I'm dividing my hair into three equal parts like you're seeing right now so this is me just sectioning all the three parts so that way we can start braiding so I have the two sides in front packed and this is what the back looks like not too shabby right so we're gonna start by braiding the back of my hair and I'm going to be parting the back of my hair this is what it looks like I'm trying as much as possible to make sure that the lines are you know clean and defined at the same time right so now that we've gotten that out of the way I'm also using the mirror as well to help guide this so this is what we have right now alrighty so I went ahead to start parting my hair so we can actually start braiding my hair and I'm going to be using this shine and jam to help sleek the hair even further I'm trying not to apply this onto my scalp so that way it doesn't leave any like it doesn't build up basically i'm just applying this to my hair just so it's a little bit sleek and a little bit neat when i start braiding so this is what i want it to look like yeah so i'm just trying my best to do this but also film this at the same time so yeah i'm going ahead to use the braiding hair and this is not a not less method if you guys would like to see a not less method let me know but this for me is faster it's a faster process 
I'm using this braiding hair and what I love about it is that I don't need to feed in because if you are using a normal braiding hair that is one toned you would have to feed in in order to get that ombre look but this one came with the ombre look and I love it. So I'm just attaching that crochet wavy hair to the braid so that way it um, gives off that bohemian vibe but I'm leaving one piece one strand out but braiding the other strand at the same time so yeah um, this is me just braiding doing the same process all over again now guys don't worry I have um, I try to be as detailed in this video so I'm going to show you exactly the whole process at least four times so you can get the hang of it and I'm trying I'm gonna try not to fast forward it right so this is what the back is looking like it's looking pretty neat considering <laughs> and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead to braid 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 and then feed in that wavy crochet hair right and I did not count the amount of weaves that I did before I like start feeding the braids I just did whatever came naturally so that was the first layer and I only used I only did three braids there I'm just going to go ahead to also part my hair and guys this mirror is is a lifesaver because it helps in you know making sure that your lines are clean and it just helps in the entire process so doing the same process again I'm just braiding but this time around I'm going to let you guys just watch it and you know learn from it okay Now for each braid I did feed in about two strands of the wavy crochet hair just because I felt like I wanted the hair to be really full and I wanted the wavy crochet hair to really come through. You can feed in just one strand, one piece and you're good to go but this is what it looks like with the two strands just hanging out. <laughs> and yeah i love it and yeah really tiny pieces and this is the length of the hair now for the back we did about 12 to 13 braids i think about 12 braids in total but now i'm moving on to the next section the next layer and i'm trying as much as possible to make sure that i have clean lines and equal um amount of hair to work with right so i'm taking my time to rule this out and i'm also trying to connect it to the other side so that way the lines are straight and everything is even. So I'm going to just let this play on its own again and let you guys watch and learn from this video, right? So doing the same thing again, picking the hair, connecting the braids and start weaving. And I'm going to come in closer so you guys can see exactly how I'm braiding and how I'm feeding in the crochet hair.
Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look and I'm absolutely in love, love, love with it. Now we did do about 80 braids in total and it did take us about 12 hours roughly to be done with this hair. Now mind you, I was a bit distracted. I have a four weeks old baby and I was also watching a couple of series so I was a bit distracted but yeah. All in all, I'm absolutely loving and living for this hair. I'm just going ahead to take off any like knots and, you know, trim it down a little bit. But this is what the hair is looking like. Now, because this is a synthetic wave, because we use a synthetic wave, you might get um, a bit of tangling. But don't be afraid. You can easily cut it off if you decide to use natural hair, human hair, sorry, that would look like 10 times better and it will last a little bit longer compared to this one but this is what we are looking like everything is neat everything is clean everything is beautiful and everything is proportional and this is what it is giving right now so i'm going to be using this argan oil cream of nature mousse i'm going to be applying this all over my braids i'm saturating this with I'm saturating this on my braids so that way it could be sleek it will be shiny and it just looks a lot better with this now take your time while doing this just to make sure that everything is properly saturated and guys see the length of this hair this has to be the longest hair i've done and i did it by myself so this is the finished look and you already know that it is giving everything it is supposed to give so we did do a total of 80 braids um, I used five packs of the braiding hair and then two packs of this crochet deep weave um, hair, you know, that to give like this curly texture and all of that. But yeah, I hope this video was as detailed as possible. All the links to the hair and the product that I used in this video will be in the, the description box. So be sure to check it out. And this is what it's looking like. It's giving me everything that I wanted. It's giving me two-tone, it's giving me bohemian, it's giving me um vacation worthy is giving me like sexy because of the length and i'm loving it right so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video again like i said all the links to all the products that i use in this video would be in the description box everything was gotten off amazon however if you feel like you want to replace something else with whatever you have definitely feel free again i feel like this would look really nice on black maybe we'll try that out next time now i didn't go ahead to dip this hair inside hot water just because i feel like i wasn't really certain and sure of the quality of the braiding hair that i used however what i did was to use my hand dryer and i use it on the hot mode so that way i would be able to like heat up the braiding hair loosen it up a little bit but also melt down any flyaways that you know may occur here but because this is already like a pre-stretched um braiding hair you wouldn't get as much fly away as opposed to stretching it out yourself but yeah this is it it's giving me all the brown tones that i love as well as blonde as well and i'm absolutely in love with it if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to give me a thumbs up like share comment and i'll see you guys in the next one till then make sure you stay fabulous and stay blessed bye guys i can't believe my eyes when i get close to you close to you close to you you said hello and i lost my control in just one tiny